Hey guys! My name is Catherine, and today I am going to be making another stamp from a wine cork. Um, I have decided that I am going to be doing all of the primary shapes because I would like a set of stamps of shapes, and I'll film it for you because why not? Um, so, we've done this in previous videos, but we're doing it again. First thing we do is take our knife and cut our cork in half. I have not measured half of this cork out. I'm just guessing because whatever is close enough. This, unlike the previous one we, ones we've used, is not a particle cork. It's a solid cork piece, which is interesting and should be a little bit different than what we've done before. Um, cork, not all corks are created equal. Uh, the particle corks are more crumbly and tend to break easier than the solid cork pieces do, but they are also more easily formed because they can be compressed from, from odd shapes of cork. Um, so I am doing squares today, so as we have done before, we're just going to take and cut down from the top, and then turn it to the side and cut at the side to free that piece, and then do the same thing for the other pieces. And I want to do both ends of this cork as a square. Now you don't have to do both ends as the same shape, but I want to do both ends as a square because I want to do one solid and one hollow. Go. That way I've got two different stamps of a square. And then just a straight line down if we can and then flip it to its side and cut it off. Now for this solid one this should be pretty straightforward. Um, these solid pieces of cork are coming away nicely and cleanly from the square which is awesome. For the hollow one, we're going to need to hollow it out, and that might be a little bit of a challenge with this solid cork. With the particle cork, it broke away, which you don't necessarily want your stamps crumbling like that, but made it convenient for hollowing it out. But for this solid one, solid one I don't know if it's going to do that. We shall see. We shall try and find out. Go. Yeah, I should probably cut it from the side, but I'm seeing if I can't just break it away and I can't, which makes sense. So lost the corner on that. So if you can't tighten it up just a little bit. Get that corner square again maybe. There we go. And then like that. And then, without breaking the corner off, maybe, hopefully, sort of there-ish. That's not very squarish. That needs to straighten out over here. A little bit more. There we go. And then maybe like this. Like 
there we are. All right, and then what we're going to do is on the inside, cut straight down, leaving a sort of kind of even width, hopefully, without just breaking the whole thing apart. And then I think cut it into quarters. So cut the middle section into quarters to make it easier to cut out, hopefully, without breaking it. And then see if we can't free that quarter. There we are. Okay. And then the next one, hopefully. Okay. There we go. That's getting easier. And then the last one, just trying to do it without breaking the side pieces. It's because if I press, if I lever it against the side pieces too hard, they will break. But that should do it, hopefully. Kind of, maybe. All right. So let's see what we've got. There's a high spot right there. All right, now let's try stamping with them and see how well it turns out. Grab our stampy paper and an ink pad. And this one I think is going to stamp just fine. I I think anyway. We shall try and make sure, however. Yep, that makes a square. And this one is the one that I'm a little iffy about. So let's just try and see what we get. Yeah, I mean, not entirely perfect, but something I can live with. That gives me two square stamps. There we go. We have added another set of stamps to our collection and stamp making repertoire. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more of the things that I am making, including making stamps and um, doing other kinds of art, hit the subscribe button and then you'll get some notifications sometimes. And if you want to get a notification each time I put up a new video, uh, select the bell icon because you'll get notifications whenever I do that. I will see you guys all later. Bye!